Hey everyone, welcome to Just Vibes with a Click podcast with your boy Peace J. And today we are, well, we're doing a, a Q&A from our previous episode about um, our friend Tando here, who was catfished by her friend, not just a friend, but like a sister, you know, like, like these people literally grew up together and then things just went south. So, Tando, how are you? I'm good, fam. How are you? I'm I'm great, thank you. I'm great. Like, um, how do you feel? Like, how how did you feel after doing the episode last week? Like, thinking about what actually happened. Like, were you were like, were you ready at peace with it? or did it like bring back memories so um because i had kept this to myself like for like the longest of time it kind of felt like a burden had been lifted from my shoulders because it felt good to like talk about it openly Mm. without just like you know keeping it to myself so i kind of felt like really good but most of the time i felt anxious because like yeah i'm not one to like open up about anything in my life That's like true. like that so oh, and when you shared the episode with like your friends like yeah. honestly they didn't know that how did they react they were just like it's crazy like what like why would someone do something like this to me considering the fact that my friends know that I am one of like I'm genuine I don't do things out of like I don't go out of my way to purposefully hurt people Mm. so you know it was a thing of how dude like what did you even do to that person for them to even do something to you but obviously I had done nothing so yeah it is what it is wait so they thought that you were in the wrong yeah, because that's what people would were thinking would say, okay, so like obviously someone would like do something on that level as maybe revenge of something. Okay. Okay. So yeah, they thought maybe I had like done something and the girl was like doing revenge, but it's not the case. Funny that uh funny you say that. Um the people on my side like a lot of people on my side say that um, your your ex friend, your ex best friend, had feelings for you. Whoa! Cut! 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 <laughs> no! 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 Serious! Serious! Like legit! Like most of my friends who listen to it were like, "Dude, clearly this person liked you. You know, they had feelings for you because." Oh heck. Take. I've never actually thought of it in that way. Exactly, because the thing is, they said that the 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 person wasn't real, right? The person who you're talking mm. to wasn't real. The person, so that means when you were telling, um, when you were telling this fake person that hey, I I like you, you know, you make me happy. You're kind. It seems like oh, those were oh. the words that that Mbali wanted you to tell her. Well, now that you put it like that, I'm so disturbed. Um, this is took a left turn, but yeah, that could be a possibility. I, um, I don't know if Mbali was bisexual or not, but to me, it seemed like she was straight. Mm, but now that you say it sure okay 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 Jay. now that i've said that did during that time did you did you okay looking back do you think that what like something that she did around you suggested that she was on the buy side um no i mean like okay how do i put it she would compliment girls not me i don't remember her complimenting me but she would come like but like complimenting girls is a thing that girls do in general like yo she got a fat ass 
or like, yo she looks hot like damn but like this something girls do like come on you can't say that you're a girl if you don't look at other girls and think damn you're hot mommy but <laughs> i don't really mm-hmm. think of it as oh she could be bisexual cuz all girls do it but other than that either than that i don't remember her making any kind of like gestures to me sexually or romantically mm. i mean yeah i mean i i'm trying to think i mean we did have our fish of sleepovers and she didn't try and do anything shysty to me um girls have had showers with their friends and again nothing weird happened it was normal stuff so if it is that she did have feelings for me then that's probably a secret she's going to go to the grave with cuz i don't know of that it depends it depends cuz you know uh also a few of the people who listened on my side suggested that you know you bring that person you, know, you bring them bali on to talk about it but not in a forcing way but just like hey this is what's happening can we have your side of the story oh okay i'll have to speak to mbali about it and hear what she says okay we like that and would oh, it be something that you would be open to like being on the call like yeah i don't mind i don't mind that way if i have questions i'll be able to get like my answer there and there and Yeah, if you have questions, I know you've got questions from Bali. Um yeah, she then she'll be able to answer everyone's questions. Oof. I just hope that, you know, it can work out, but then also we can be diplomatic about it and no no one's shouting or being more ratchet and stuff. No, no. No. Uh one thing about me and Bali, we know how to be civil like with each other even when we're having the discussion where mm-hmm. she came to apologize and all that. There was no like heated conversation. Everything was just calm and we're having just a normal conversation like you and I are now. So But don't you think Yeah, there's no ratchetness over here. But don't you think it was only calm because at that point you had already found out and it had been some time. Mm. I feel like it would have also been calm if she had apologized same time when we had um confronted her about it. Mm. I've made peace with it. I made peace with it a long time ago because I knew like what 6 months into this whole thing that this thing is a scam. So, yeah, if it was a thing of like for 2 years straight I was oblivious or I was ignoring the red flags or whatever, mm. then maybe I would have lost my cool because that's 2 years of my time wasted. Mm. Okay. Mm. But like after the 6 months of me realizing it, the decision of me choosing not to entertain someone else was personally mine. I had chosen that I'm not going to do these things while I'm still in school. I'm going to be focused whatever. Mm-hmm. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm guessing it started like real relationships of the high school. Anything before that I don't consider it. Even these guys I had flings with, I don't consider it. So like what happened with Mbali did that affect your 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 relationship going forward with like other guys yes it did i have trust issues where now if for example okay we have these di- dating sites or someone will be like yo i want to hook you up with someone cool you hook me up but i want a video call <laughs> i want a video call and i want your picture so i can compare that okay this is not a scam Yeah yeah yeah. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Just to double check. Mm. Oh, so you're not against the whole hey, I've got a friend for you. No, not at all. Like if peace you found someone and you feel like this person is perfect for me. Why not? I'm not going to shut that down. 
I'm not gonna stop that from happening simply because of a little um bad experience I have. I can't use that against everyone else who's, you know, genuine. To be fair, I wouldn't call it a little bad experience because it's kind of, it's kind of <laughs> <laughs> just saying. It's kind of <laughs> I'm trying to be nice, yeah. <laughs> You know, being catfished, yeah, not that little, you know. <laughs> yeah, man, it, it is what it is. So, and how is your relationship with other females? Because, because like, um, from what I've seen, I think you only, okay, I feel like you only have one good female friend, which is precious. Yes, yes, yes. I was about to get into that. Yeah. So, um... Females in general, I don't trust you people. All are pieces of nonsense. <laughs> so with Precious, the reason why I trust her is because, again, Precious is has been a friend with me since, I guess, we were in grade two. That's, give or take, more than t- 20 years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why I still trusted her because she had been in my life for so long and she was still like the support that I needed even though like it would have been nice to have like more support Mm. yeah she's still still enough if I could say but like with regards to like other female that I meet I always do like leave space for disappointment Mm. I don't like fully trust females like that anymore everything that people or females tell me okay not just females males to everyone i take it with a, is it a grain of salt or a pinch of salt what's that phrase so yeah i'll believe what you say but at the same time i'm just like mm, what if it's a lie yeah kind of so yeah Ooh. and i'm guessing precious knows about the story with mbali oh yes yes she was one of the people i was venting to when i was still like angry Mm. and yeah she was there to calm me down and whatever and think logically about it and yeah i then eventually like got over it i had to yo it was hard please fam i don't know if you've ever gone through like a proper breakup where you think of it now and you had to literally speak to yourself and console yourself and tell yourself that look bro what you're holding on to now there's nothing just let go just let go there's no yeah hope. that was what happened because i low-key had like <sighs> thoughts that maybe there's still a chance where we can like fix this friendship and whatever yeah and clearly i was wrong and it's only when i decide that okay you know i'd screw this there's nothing here that the girl decides that she wants to come and she's just like ah, come on dude like what's going on but hey was she acting like it's not that deep? I don't know. Wait, I'm trying to think. I don't know. No, I don't know. I, I don't know. Hey. See, this is the I just know that we need. This is why we need her on here. You know? We must be asking these questions. You must talk to her. Dude. Okay. Talk yeah, to her. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to her. And be like, I'm gonna yo, talk to her tonight come come on this zoom meeting you know so that we can talk yeah, i don't know i don't know if if yo i don't know i don't know if i could answer that question hmm. i mean she seemed genuine at the time hmm. so it's not like she was like downplaying it like yeah i did it but like whatever you should get over it like hmm. She low key sounded like, okay, look, I know what I did was wrong and I effed up, and you know, that's like many years of friendship down the drain. Yeah. So I don't know if she was being genuine or not, or I don't know. Only she can answer that. Hectic. I tweet. Honestly, I like, you know, we see these. We see these clips or episodes on on Catfish. On like, remember when we still had MTV, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, we see that like, you know, friendships being broken. You know, like people's like, don't talk to me ever again. 
you know i'm just that wondering shit is real. How, like how do you do it like how do you st- thing is how do you still speak to the person who hurt you personally i'm not that strong i'm not that strong me don't talk to me ever again well i'm fine with life like that but you you literally like you still have their contacts you know i, I like it depends on like <sighs> I think this is like an individual choice now. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, at some point, I was exactly like what you say now, where it's like, okay, don't talk to me. Um, other people are gonna be like, I will beat you up now, <laughs> but I don't got time for that. Cause like, bruh, like, what's fighting gonna do? It's not gonna bring back the time you wasted. It's not gonna take back the lies that you told. It's not gonna fix anything. Yeah. Like what's gone is gone, it's happened, it's happened. Oof, oof, oof. But I feel like we can still be civil and learn how to coexist. Because I mean, for my like in my case, this is not someone who just lives like in Cape Town or wherever. Mm. It's someone who lives right across the road from me. Meaning, even to this day, we're still gonna go to the same stores we're still gonna go to the same mall if we want to chill at the park we still have to bump into each other at the same park you know what i'm saying yeah so there's no way we can avoid each other and to even make it worse our fathers know each other our fathers work with each other so there is no avoiding each other at some point we were meant to like meet up and hash things out be it after 10 years or whatever because we are in the same space wait so is that is that what you guys planned or is that still up for discussion what the whole thing of getting to be friends again or what no like the whole thing of 10 years to come together oh no no No, now I'm just saying Uguti even though she took like let's say three years to apologize either way her and i were gonna bump into each other and talk because we have we live in the same space we literally breathe the same in um oxygen Mm. so i feel like her and i talking after this whole incident would have been inevitable that's a word because we live literally across the road from each other Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know yeah something that i also noticed is the fact that it seemed like when when you found out that's when she stopped coming to church if i'm not mistaken yeah not when i found out when we confronted her yeah because remember after you had sent her the text that ayo we know what you're doing and what you're up to Mm. she had i don't remember if she blocked me but she stopped talking to me we were still going to like i was still in high school Mm. so we're still to the same school which means we're taking the same route to school yeah and the same route to come back home and every time we needed something from the shops we'd go to spa Mm. so yeah she cut me off and she stopped talking to me and she stopped talking to everyone around me like yeah Hmm. Um, yeah i got because i remember i remember yeah that happened she stopped coming to church and then i think she was like a year below you right um no not a year uh, she's a 2000 if I'm not mistaken she's, but she was two yeah, years I think the same age as Angela or something like that two or three years yeah because I remember she was walking back well it, it's okay we know where her school is and we know where she lives but she was walking past church mm-hmm. the one time and then Naba and I were standing outside church and then we saw her and oh, I remember that day. yeah and I think that was when I missed her. Like, as she left, that's when I came out. Yes. Yeah. And that was just like, yo, damn. 
and even then people didn't know like thing is i remember Nobs asked her like yo why did you stop coming like where did you go you like felt, like i remember she looked at me i looked at her i was like i'm not gonna say it it's not my story to tell what was her response she's like nah man i've been busy you know school you know like life is just you know getting a bit hectic you know so hectic yeah i remember i was like yeah okay that's what we're gonna say that's what we're gonna say i'm not gonna say you're lying it's not my story to tell obviously no one knew at the time so she wouldn't have exposed herself like that Mm. Mm. so going back to the whole female friendships you know Mm. like yes you have precious you know um to be honest that's the only friend i know you know it's the only friend i know of yours but like with your experience with mbali did you did it start to ripple effect when it came to like when it came to cutting off female friends that you already have um i would guess so cuz i think i reached a point i think i'm still there where if you do anything weird or or if i see any red flags i sort of distance myself from you until i have like enough proof to see that okay maybe it's just me who's just overthinking this whole situation Mm. but one thing for sure um not just with females with everyone if you do some weird shit to me i will cut you off now i don't have time for that it's either you're genuine or you're not genuine. Like, what Melu says is Dorsako. Straight up. There's no, look, funny business here. Nah. And that's like, and that's like all around. Like, it wasn't a thing of school friends or church friends mm-hmm. or social friends. It's everyone. It applies to everyone, including family. I have exactly. had all family because you just moving different and i don't agree with that and we have differences cool yes again we may not be on that level of talking or trust or whatever but um because again we're maybe in the same friend group or we're family we can learn to coexist love when it's time to love but stay in your lane and i'm gonna stay in my lane yeah 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 no. but do you think that do you think that like your experience helped you cut off the right people yeah actually yeah now that i'm thinking about it and not just about like cutting off the right people um it has helped me in the sense of back then i was a very trusting person anyone that came into like my life i used to trust them with everything mm. um i used to tell them everything i used to be so open to them about it whereas now i'm very careful about what i share with people i'm very mm. careful about, about who i give my time to yes so yeah back then i used to be a yes yes a people please i i could say now i really don't give a care like and yeah i really don't care that's good that's good because thing is i've seen you know i've seen well not no, not even me like me and a few other people have seen you you know like the way you've cut off females you know yeah bro females move different and i'm not a here for that bro like your females are wicked i remember i think it was on friday even at work we're discussing this whole thing where girls will tell you uguti oh yeah i have a girl at work who was engaged to someone as in it's two days away from the wedding or getting married and her friend slept with her fiance two days before like you know they were about to get married so i promise you females are wicked men are wicked too but females take the cab bro and like <laughs> that's on period oh man 
because you know like we were talking about it like the other day you know about um you know about like females cutting off females you know like that goes deep eh? that goes deep because y'all do it in a way that look don't ever talk to me again you know like y'all y'all won't even be in the same setting you know and, 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 and that's deep you know because as guys let's we... to avoid like any future fights like i don't want because the thing is with females we're very emotional so if you're gonna do something to me i'm gonna have like hold a grudge against you right yeah. and each time i see you i'm disgusted by you i just want to smack you or like we have this i don't know if it's just me but i have this mentality of if i have something against you or if i'm mad at you for whatever reason and i'm at that level of don't talk to me Mm. um how can i put it if you're gonna say anything stupid fam i'm gonna empty the load on you i will hit you Mm. so rather let's avoid each other that way nothing has to escalate and no one has to get beat or i won't have to say anything painful or hurtful because because i'm not much of a physical person i know that i'm gonna hurt you with some words yeah so let's keep away from each other and no one is gonna get hurt be it physically or verbally or whatever so what stopped you from like okay obviously you said you're not a fighter but what what stopped you from like from going at Mbali with your words part of me still cared for her a lot at that time yes I do care for her now but it's not the same you know what I'm saying um but back then I really did care for her because I still had hopes that we can fix our friendship so I didn't want to do anything to ruin you know our chances at fixing the friendship because I know that if I were to say something painful or hurtful Bali would definitely be like yeah no you know I'm not even gonna try and fix this friendship you know what yeah. I'm saying and I personally wouldn't be able to live with that kind of guilt where I feel like I would start blaming myself mm-hmm. as to why we no longer have a chance at fixing the friendship Yeah. whereas now I know that okay I've played my part I've forgiven her I've done x y and z we've spoken we've hashed things out um it's cool i don't have any guilt like sitting on me or anything that's like the true meaning of forgiveness right there yeah i mean i still can if i were to see mbali in a situation where she's in trouble i still would like this is now just like us walking in the street bumping into each other and i see that she's in trouble and she needs help i will pull up for her but if it's her going out of her way coming to me like yo brah, like i need you to lie for me and say that i'm with you i'm not doing that because we're not on that level anymore mm. you check yeah I, i get that i get that clearly now yeah. oh. and though, you're stronger than most people man i'm not gonna lie I don't know about that, but yeah. No, no, I'm saying this because, you know, like the way you handled the situation, you were calm, you know? Yeah, I was. I really was. No lie. You know, I know a few people who would throw hands, you know? But I think I was calm because like behind closed doors, like um, I was really hurt and I cried whenever I needed to cry Mm. and whatever. So, uh, yeah. So, apart from Precious, was there anyone else who like who was there for you, like as a like a female person who was there for you, or or did you realize that um, in that moment, this is another uh, was this, you realize that you can't you can't really confide in your supposed female friends at the time. 
Um, at the time, yeah, I had a friend. Um, but I guess we grew apart. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. We grew apart. Um, I guess I or we realized that we're not into the same stuff, or we. <sighs> I don't know how to explain it but we just yeah we don't have as much in common as we thought and then we grew apart and yeah she did her own thing i did my own thing i'm trying to think of who else i was like close to like that um i can't think of anyone else but yeah at the moment precious and i are still like doing the most like we're still friends oh okay that's good Wait, so the person that you're talking about, the one that you grew apart, yeah. Is it Sam's Sam's denial? What? You remember Sam? Oh yeah. Sam's rejection. Is it that person? Who is that? Sam. No, I know Sam, but like who's the girl? Remember you told me that Sam met uh, what's the Sam met up with someone and then he rejected her? Is it that person? Okay, let's go over the story offline because well, <laughs> but um, what I do know is that you do know the girl. Ah, then it's the person I'm talking about. Bro. That's okay. <laughs> Stay safe. Stay safe. <laughs> Stay safe, though. Oh uh, yeah. No, no, no. The thing is, you know, one thing is I I have noticed even no matter what the gender is whenever you're going through something or or maybe you like okay yeah whenever you're going through something and you're literally like in the pits and your real friends will notice that hey man like, this man is not okay or oh, this girl mm. okay you know like they will like they will show up for you you know yeah they'll show up for you like constantly checking up on you to see if you're right you know so I feel like when you're when you're down, you know, it's those people who come on do come and check up on you to see how you're doing. I would say are your like your 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 true friends, you know. Yeah, man, it'd be like that. But like you know, the thing is, the funny thing is, peace. I can't entirely agree with that because Mbali was one of the people that would check up on me and she would know instantly if I was down without even having to like open my mouth or say anything she knew so I don't know if if people like that are you really your true friends or like no Mbali is, is different Mbali is different because she was checking up on you while lying to you there's a difference that's the thing but how do we know that a lot of people aren't doing that wait I can text you every day and be like, yo, peace. Are you good, bro? Knowing very well that I don't have the best of intentions for you. No. I don't know, dude, but I would, I would say it's it's different. Let me say, okay, because like, you know, when I lost, um, when I lost my grandmother like a few years back, right? Yeah. My friends my friends spoke to me they comforted me by talking about something else you know yeah. you know we were like i know this is a guy thing because we don't talk about our emotions and stuff they'll ask like maybe once a week how you're feeling but then other than that they'll they'll, they'll, they'll want to talk about hey did you see this video you know oh dude do you remember this time when we you know that type of stuff so i feel like that i feel like my experiences have been genuine because, you know, you know, because like, I know the people who I'm talking with, you know, because one time when they were down. Because I know with, with girls, a girl can be laughing with you and she could be straight up to your face, like being supposedly the nicest person. But behind closed doors, she is plotting for your downfall. So I don't know if it's the same with guys, but girls, oh my boy. Yeah, you, you daughters of Eve. Yeah, goodness. Nice. Hey, it is what it is, my chi. <laughs> oh man. 
So guys, we've come to the end of this Q and Q and A session. You know, I hope um, I hope it's given you guys more context of how Tando's felt, how you know how it started, how how it how it has affected her going forward. You know, because I know it hasn't been easy. You know, especially when the person who's hurt you is literally right next to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm so yeah man yeah it's it's tando thank you for sharing your story once again you know it's all good hopefully you can oh oh i'm joking okay 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 (laughs) okay (laughs) okay oh (laughs) i'm laughing because I know a few stories, but we'll talk about it offline. Ah, my friend. After this, we are talking. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, man. Um, Tando, you know, if if Mbali is willing to come on, you know, mm. and talk about this, you know, this, this isn't uh, a whole... It won't be like an interrogation, but it will be more of like a, like, you know, a, like a, a conversation. It's a talk. You know, Clarify, sit down and talk you know like red table talk type of situation yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah please reach out to her you know mm-hmm. and let me know what she says you know so we can schedule a time when I you just hope do she this again. so that like we also get her side of the story because i'm burning to know a few things you see you see it it only helps it only yeah helps man anyone. You know, so yeah, man. Yo, oh, this is this has been interesting, Tando. Thank you so much once again. Um, everyone else who's listening, thank you for listening. You know, thank you for your support. The podcast is growing slowly, but the mere fact that it's growing, I I appreciate all of you. You know, just keep sharing um, the the keep sharing the the episode. You know. And if you're watching and if you're listening from YouTube, if you like this episode, please do subscribe. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tando. And we out. Bye, bye, y'all.